Look at demon. Look at demon. Look, look, oral sex. Oral sex demon. You see oral sex. Look, oral sex. Look, 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 look. You, you oral sex. You oral sex. Let that sperm of that man out. Out. Out, you demon. Out. Let, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. You delivered me two Sundays back then. A demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth. And and then he tried, he came again and he slept with me last week. And I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. He's been itching? Yes. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Look at that demon. 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 Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Speak out. Who are you? Who are you? Jesus name. You demon can help you. Yeah. Come up from the private part. Private part. Demon in the private part. Watch what happens. Fire! 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 Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out. Out. From the private. Go. 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 Rosamond Daniel. What happened to you today? So you prayed, for, you delivered me today, and then when I went to the bathroom, I think 15 minutes later, uh, some white stuff came out with, with the blood after you sprayed. Oh, come on, somebody. After I spray with the water, yes. after I spray, something yeah. came out white. Yes. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. May your healing and deliverance be permanent in Jesus' name. Come on and give the glory to Jesus. All right, uh, all right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach one of the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word and all truth and all sincerity. And uh, we're about to do a response to this uh, madness that uh, obviously you just saw. All right. You know, this video was entitled, uh, Oral Sex Demon Possesses Woman, I believe. Yep. And, um, it just shows you that these people in the churches, man, they got demons on them, man. You know, heavy, heavy demons. You know? And the Lord, man, the Lord's not dealing with, um, you know, temples made with hands. He's not dealing with all these churches that are, um, you know, formed around the world, man. You know, clearly, look at these people, man. They're, 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 they're possessed, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they're possessed by uh, like these wicked spirits. All right. And um, we're going to start off with this uh, second Thessalonians chapter two, verse 11. And for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. You know, and so the Lord puts these uh, spirits and and delusions and demons on these people, man. They're bugged out of their mind, man. That's a bugged out woman. And, and you know. This pastor, he's a demon, you know? And he was trying to exercise, if it wasn't an act, you know what I mean? He was trying to exercise this demon and he couldn't, man. Because he doesn't have the real name. You know, he was calling on Jesus. He asked the, he, he asked the demon, who are you? The demon wasn't even responding to him, you know? And that, just, hey, that shows you these people have no pastors, man. You actually, and I, I could attest to this, because I actually went to the church to get a quote-unquote exorcism, have some people pray over me or whatnot. And I left with more demons than what I went in with. Mm. I left feeling worse than when I fucking came there. That's and right. then it was crazy. I had the people who were praying me with three women on their rag. You know, this shit is it's folly, man. It's demonic, man. It's really demonic, actually. You know? Hey, and the Lord is not dealing with this, you know? That's why the Lord calls uh, uh, the churches the harlot houses. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord, he said he doesn't dwell with temples made with hands. Um, I'll get that real quick. 
the this is the book of Acts 7 and 48. Howbeit the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophets. You know, that's just a quick, you know, cut, man. Quick basic scripture. The Lord doesn't deal with these churches, man. He doesn't deal with uh, temples and you know synagogues and all that. Okay? That that's just folly and madness. Mm. You know, you know, we're about to get it. It talks about how um, the Lord um, talks about how you know these uh, churches are a bunch of harlot houses. Because what goes on in the church, man? You know, first and foremost, idolatry, spiritual fornication. Okay, actual you know um, adultery goes on in these churches. They eat a bunch of abominable, abominable foods. Celebrate these uh, wicked, you know, so-called holidays. It's nothing but a uh, 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 madness, folly, you know, corruption in there, man. You know, there's a, a lot of um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, everything happens in that yeah, place. Uh, shit, uh, witchcraft. Shit, you had these motherfuckers wait and during the day. They got their regular congregation going at night. They fucking the uh, fucking coven of witches in the fucking basement, man. Yeah, you know, especially the Catholic Church. They oh, big yeah. on that one. Especially those, uh, especially uh, the churches among the tribes with Simeon and Levi. You know, in the day, it's they're worshiping fucking Jesus, which is false. Then at night, they're worshiping all this. They're doing, doing all voodoo. This, yeah, they're doing voodoo in the basement or something. Yep. You know, they have all these, like, money uh, laundering scandals and all that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it's... This is not like, oh, maybe one or two churches that do this. It's Each and year one. after year, month after month. You know what I'm saying? Scandal after scandal. And it shows you that these places aren't you know where righteousness dwells in man you know the lord gives you so many examples but our people are caught up in it and the reason why is because they're really wicked they love it man they actually love the wickedness that that, uh, that that's brewed in these places man mm -hmm. you know uh you probably get there is uh jeremiah 5 and 7 it says how long shall i pardon thee for this that children have forsaken me and mm -hmm. sworn by them that are no gods yo babe the lord um, is very upset with our people. And why is that? They go to the idols, man. Our people run to idols. You know, and, and they're not uh, they're uh, not gods, man. It talks about in the book of Psalms. I forget where it's at. It talks about the um, all these other nations. Gods or idols are not gods, man. You mm -hmm. know? They're just in, inanimate objects that can't speak. Okay? They can't move. You know, they, they don't, you know, uh, uh, feel anything. It's just a, a piece of stone, wood, you know, glass, and that's it, man. But our people go out of their way to worship these things, man. But we, what comes with um with idols is an ideology, though, man. You know, some type of a uh, worship. You know, some type of practice, and that's what these people do, and they love that wickedness, man. You know, and the Lord's very mad, man. The Lord is upset with the wicked every day, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. It says. When I had fed them to the full, then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. And that's the churches, man. The harlot houses, man. You know, hey, the scripture, uh, I believe it's in, um, it's not in Sirach, it's in Proverbs. But it tells you basically about a man who cleaves unto harlots, loses inheritance, man. And that's why Israel, like the two thirds, they're going to, yeah, they're going to have a place in the kingdom. But they're not going to have that, like that glow, man. Because they want to hold on to all these fucking harlots, man. That's right. They give all this substance. You know, whether it be the, the what they could give to the Lord. They they give their all to these harlots, man. Yeah. They go out like how the brothers said, they go out of their way to get to to get to this church to flog in it, be the first ones in front of the congregation, then go do some fucking bullshit. Yep. You know? Big yep. hypocrites, man. Yep, and when they have like the certain events, you know, our people gotta, you know, uh dress to impress. They yeah. gotta, you know, have the biggest hats, you know, the the, the flyest suits, you know. The women have to have the, the you know, the, the nicest and brightest dresses. You know, it's just a bunch of madness, man. You know? And, it, and man, as it says, man, uh, can you read that one more time, uh, the says, last uh, part? Because when I have fed them to the full, then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops. Sorry, assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. Yeah, and how have our people committed adultery? It's because they worship these idols. That's spiritual fornication. Can you type in? Um, he that committeth adultery has no understanding, roughly paraphrasing it. Uh, cause I'm gonna get this. 
in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. That's how our people became uh, 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 adulterers, okay? Became harlots, okay? They started worshiping these idols, all right? And that's the beginning of spiritual fornication. And it's the corruption of life, all right? Because you, like I uh, was saying earlier, it's just not an idol. It's just not a, um, you know, a statue or whatever it may be, okay? That, that, that comes with the whole ideology and philosophy, too, as well, okay? Adultery. All right? There, 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 there's a whole um, ideology behind these idols. And that's, um, what does it say in the scriptures? Um, uh, uh, he that, uh, you know, I'm going to get it in Proverbs. Um, get it real quick. In Proverbs 21 and 16, it says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's what our people have done. They, they've they gone, um, you know, basically to these uh, uh, new um, ideologies and, and they've wandered out of the way of... Um, of understanding, all right, all right. They've wandered out of the way of understanding. Our people are bugged out. That's why our people have no knowledge. All right, they're mentally uh just destroyed. That's why it says in Hosea what four and six, that um my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Know. Our people are through, man. All right, they're through. Okay, because if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're you hey you're dead, man. You know it talks about in Wisdom of Solomon. That um, that basically uh, that wisdom is that breath of life, man. Okay. All right. Can you get that real quick? All right. It's uh, Proverbs six and thirty-two. It says, "But whoso committeth adultery with a woman, lack of understanding, and he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul." Okay. And th you know that's twofold. Yes, you know actual you know adultery with a woman. Okay. But also you being a spiritual uh, adulterer, man. You, you have no understanding. That's why our people are destroyed, because they are committing spiritual fornication, man. All right? And then you look at the, the churches. Those people are the worst of the worst, man. Anybody that's in the, the Catholic Church or whatever, you know, uh, you know, um, whether it be the Roman Catholic Church, whether it be, you know, Baptist Church, so on and so forth, those are the worst type of people, man. They're the most wicked, man. They're really the most wicked. All right? And that's because they, they cleave unto these idols and they, they, they wander out of the way of understanding. Mm -hmm. Being spiritual uh, hoes, man. Hey, and the Lord's going to destroy them for that, man. The Lord's going to, hey, all these people, man, they're, they're going to get visited by Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Whether it be right away or whether it be, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, um, you know, years from now, okay? You know? Hey, it's all, hey, everything is uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Come on. Do you have anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to read this one. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and um, 1. It says, Woe be unto mm. the pastors that, des that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord Yahweh. And that's talking about destruction, man. Because these pastors, you know, they're not guiding the sheep, man. They got all the answers. You know, in order to teach, like half of them, you know, they know the truth in order to teach this lie, man. You know? So it's like, hey, man, they, that's destruction onto them, man, because they could be fucking pulling Israel out the fire, yet they're delivering them to it, man. Yep. What verse 2 say? Uh, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have not scattered, it says, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you evil of your, visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Lord writes what the brother said, man. The Lord's going to visit them for that, man. You know, because they, they could be blowing the trumpet, getting Israel right, you know, telling them what to do to avoid the punishments. Yet, they just keep telling them to go on living their life in wickedness, man. Yep. So, yeah, they, and they're going to get that uh, that harsh judgment. They're going to get beaten with many stripes because, as the brother said, a lot of them do know that they're Israelites and they know the truth. All right? But they didn't do, the, what, uh, uh, what does it say, the Lord's will? Mm -hmm. So they're gonna get being with those many stripes, as it says. I think it's uh, Luke the twelfth chapter, or right, maybe the forty seventh verse. You know, because you know somebody that doesn't know, they're gonna get being with you know less stripes. They you know, might just get a quick death. 
a lot of these pastors, they're going to get uh, tormented, man. You know, a lot of them are going to get tortured in that day. Come. You know, the Lord's not playing. The Lord's not playing anymore, man. There's a, as we keep getting closer and closer to the end, you know, our judgment is getting more harsh. It's getting faster. You know, it's happening on a grand scale, man. All right. But you got anything else? No, that's it, brother. You know, well, you know, we just wanted to do a quick lesson, you know, to show you this madness that goes on in the church, man. It's just, you know, this stuff, this is what our people are into, man. This is why they're going to get destroyed. This is a perfect example of why two-thirds are going to get destroyed, you know. Come on. Unless they come out of that, you know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. But, you know, hey, two-thirds is a large number. And the majority of them, they're just going to stay in this folly. And, you know, and this is going to what uh, this is going to be their death, man. This is what's going to get them destroyed. You know, and uh, hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to our apostles and our others, Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word. Shalom. Shalom. Bible.